Well, we turn now to snakes. Scientists in southwestern France say they've discovered an unexpected human benefit from the deadly venom of the feared black member snake. Snakes. Many people are afraid of them and try to avoid them at all costs. Many of the slippery creatures are deadly. One of the most dangerous snakes is the black mamba. Hanko Van Resberg is a snake handler at Johannesburg's Crocodile and Reptile Park. The black mamba is a neurotoxic venom. That means it paralyzes you. It literally takes your nervous system and it shuts it down completely. It has the fastest acting venom of any snake in the world and it has the most of any African snake. Scientists in the south of France say the deadly venom which causes severe pain could actually help alleviate pain. Anne Baron oversees the research at the French National Research Council's Molecular and Cellular Laboratories in Sofia Antipolis. In mamba venom, we were surprised to identify two small proteins, mambo genes, that can reduce the electrical activity of some ion channels that are found in neurons that transmit pain information. When we injected the mambo genes into mice, we were pleased to see that they could reduce pain in as powerful a manner as morphine. The team of researchers removed from the venom its highly potent toxins and other substances, isolating the purified mambalgenes. They say mambalgenes hold out the prospect of a new form of pain therapy that is as powerful as morphine. Morphines act to control pain by blocking receptors on the surface of cells. Eric Lengeglea, the Institute's director, says that the mambalgenes act by hitting a different receptor. Mambal genes don't use the same mechanism as morphine. They don't touch the same receptors. We know that morphine receptors have secondary effects that are associated with them. Mambal genes won't have the same secondary effects as morphine. In petri dish experiments, the research team noticed that the mambal genes block the ion channels in frog cells and on human cells. When they tested the proteins on living mice, they say the magnitude of pain reduction observed in them was similar to that occurring when mice are given morphine. Some cancerous pains or some pains linked to the nervous system are not responsive to morphine treatment. So any molecules that have novel mechanism will be interesting tools to try and treat pains that are resistant to opiates. Experts say the treatment may need to be injected into the spine or elsewhere to have optimum effect. Although a reliable therapy for humans may be many years away, its prospect opens the door to new methods of treating pain. And that's our Africa Health Network report for today. For more health news and developments, be sure to visit our website at africahealthnetwork.com. Jimmy Ake, back to you. So you're saying there's a reason to like black mambas? Uh, uh, I will no. still stay away from them. I, yeah. yeah, good <laughs> advice. Well, thank you so much. That's Lino Madu for joining us on In Focus today. Please be sure to watch for Limo, Lino Madu's Africa Health Network reports every Tuesday and Thursdays, always right here on In Focus.